Steve Van Knocker has been scouring the woods of Michigan in search of apple trees, but not just any old tree. It's called Malus coronaria. It's a wild apple species. That's very healthy. The Michigan State University horticulture professor believes the tree that's native to the Great Lakes state could benefit apple production that's being disrupted by the warming climate. It's late blooming. And so compared to our commercial apples, something like Honeycrisp or Red Delicious, Malus coronaria blooms sometimes two to three weeks later than that. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but almost always that's enough for the, for the flowers to escape the killing spring frost. And in many years, uh, apple production is just completely decimated by spring frost. Van Knocker wants to identify the genes responsible for the Malus coronaria's delayed blooms and use them to develop more frost-resistant apple varieties. So what we're doing today is going and actually removing a piece of the branch and storing that in the cold over the winter. And in the spring, we're going to graft that onto another apple plant. And then that will grow up uh, into its own tree with the same genotype as the original. The project is one of many ways scientists across the U.S. are trying to make apples more resilient in extreme weather. It's a critical area of research as climate change puts many apple growing regions at risk. With climate change, it's quite possible that apples won't be able to be produced in Michigan in the future, in the current state. And so that's why cultivar improvement, especially in terms of frost resistance, is so important.